Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 7 of Darwell20's FTB Skies Expert Let's Play series. Uh, where today I'm currently working on uh, some sand. Turning it into soul sand, apparently. Uh, between episodes I made about three stacks of sand from a bunch of cobble that I made. Uh, hoping we're getting near the point where I don't have to do the punching dirt thing to get stone anymore. Now, in fairness, if I was uh, more familiar with the pack, it's very likely that I could have done this in a more efficient manner. But I don't know exactly what order I need to do things uh, in order to make this all work. So, yeah, it is what it is. We'll, we'll be fine, though, right? I think so. So you go here, and then you guys go here, 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 and here. And that should be getting us quartz. Yay, nether quartz. Sweet. So I have extra sand, which I'll hold on to, and we'll see if we need more soul sand. Uh, if we do, cool. If we don't, also cool. Not too shabby, right? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'll definitely fancy up this create island. Don't worry. It's going to get better uh, as the series progresses, for sure. For sure. Because I suspect we're going to be doing a lot of create things, um, you know, over time. That also got us nether ward, by the way. Soul mesh to andesite mesh. What was that? What, what just happened? What? What did I get? Did I, was that a quest thing or something? I don't know. Beats me. Either way, we've got, we can make the peat generator now, uh, which we're supposed to make before we get peat and melting chamber. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, so for peat, I've got uh, some iron. Uh, and I've got, and I think I saw copper as being a part of this. I may need more of these, but we'll find out uh, in the near future. And if I do, I do, and that's fine. I'll make it work. So let's see, what do I got? So if I want the peat generator, uh, we're going to need some observers. Oh, I need my redstone too. Do I have it already? Oh, I do, good. May need to get more redstone, in which case I'll just kill some witches. Um, so you, uh, we're gonna need some copper ingots. Oh, I need actual copper ingots. Uh, remind me how I can turn you into copper ingots. I can mix four of them into into raw copper. So let's just let's just turn like a stack of this. Um, so what I'll do is you and you, and that should be cool. And that should quickly turn into raw copper. Nice. That works, right? For me, at least. New type of food unlocked. Sweet. So I'm going to need that. I'm going to need, uh, I guess, any sheet metal, I, ex I assume, will work. So I'll just use iron sheet metal as a, as a go-to. I may, I suspect, um, need more of these. So let's get this going. Um, I'm pretty sure that I can't have all these machines running on the same speed. But if I remove this, we're fine. So a lot of manual control around which machines are active. In fairness, I could throw down more water wheels and be fine. But I suspect that in not too distant future, I'll have this modular diesel engine. And if I'm right about that, then I don't want to spend a lot of time going crazy with water wheels when I can just have an engine, right? Um, so for now, it's not a big deal to just like remove that cog there and put a new one over there and we're fine, right? Like, it's fine. It's, it works. Um, at least that's my thoughts. So peat generator, uh, you're gonna need uh, definitely a block of redstone so that we can get the pity machine frame. And then uh, we're gonna wanna smelt up. That, uh, there you go. Smelt up our copper. Which should be cool. What else do I need to make right now? Uh, the observers, I might as well make them. One, two. And then um, the light engineering blocks. Definitely need my copper for that. Ding. One, two. Oof! Oof! It's one iron mechanical component per? Oof! That hurts. That hurts quite a bit. Uh, but we get four light engineering blocks from this recipe, at least. So that's kind of cool. 
Uh, that said, I'm definitely going to need more iron. Um, do I just do all nine of them, you think? Or should I hold off a little bit? Why do I feel like I should have more iron than this? And I'm just not being lucky right now. I feel like there's iron somewhere and I lost it. I might be might be wrong about that. I have been using a lot of iron. But we could always just sieve up more gravel and be fine. I just really don't want to have to punch dirt anymore. But if I do, I do. Gotta do what you gotta do, right, folks? Alright, so then you... I get four of these for the craft, so that's cool at least, right? And then we just need a few more sheet metal. Right? And then there's your peat generator, which is neat. So that breaks down that. And then for the melting chamber, it's mostly just going to be a lot more redstone and quartz. Um, so I might be cool on the quartz, but I definitely know I need more redstone. So I'm going to get my witch pearl ready to go here. And you can go in here. And that should be cool. And I'm going to put you guys away for the time being. See, I've got a little bit more cobblestone now because I, you know, did that thing. Yeah, see, we are definitely low on iron. I feel like we should have more iron somewhere, but like I said, might just be my imagination. I have, in fairness, used quite a lot of it. And I don't know exactly the peat generator. Breaks down matter to generate energy. I mean, seems pretty straightforward. I'm going to put you in my, in my modded items chest, and we'll come back to that when we're ready. Um, but we get some peat, hoglin loins, and hey, we get a free pity machine frame. Well, that's nice. That I will take. Um... And peat, I'm going to count that as, like, a fuel, so, like, kind of like coal. And that in a peat generator will get us, like, 100,000 RF, which is a very nice amount of RF early game. Uh, so, technically, we have RF now, right? All I have to do is put that in that generator and we're good. Uh, and by giving me the pity machine frame, that makes my melting chamber recipe a whole lot easier because it's one less block of redstone that I'm going to need. So, now for you... I think I won the thing just now. And it opened up a new one. I counted me winning. That's kind of cool. I'm probably weak enough at this point that it's going to be hard for me to overcome that regen, but I'll try. Oh, nope, dead. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Remove. So in theory, actually. Oh, there we go. Cool. Right? We're good? I think we're good. Got a bunch of stuff. Cracked ballast gem. Oh, that's apotheosis stuff. Sweet. Alright, so you go in there. We got a lot of redstone, which is nice. There we go. Put that in there with that stuff. Mob drop. Dusts, dusts, dusts. And there's all the redstone we're going to need. Uh, let's get our melting chamber. So I need two of these. And then we're going to need two of these. Which is exactly enough. And then some glass. Which if we don't already have some extra... We can just smelt. I'm going to make eight just for the coal thing, right? Um, that should be fine. And then while that's smelting up, maybe uh, just a little bit of inventory cleanup. Um, you can go in miscellaneous junk, sir. Uh, anything else I need to put away for the time being? Eh, glass bottles. Yeah, that's kind of junk. I don't think I need the sheet metal anymore. I can, I'll hold on to the uh, quartz because I think I needed that for the actual craft of the melting chamber. But now that that's done, which is cool, uh, I can put away you and you, and that's awesome. Cool, right? 
Oh, I get conveyor belts from industrial foregoing. Make peat from dry peat, which you then saturate in world by placing in it in water. Once it converts to saturated, you mine it up and smelt it. The smelted peat can be burned for fuel, but once you're able to further refine it into enriched peat, you'll want to do that for far better energy yield. It's suggested you make at least a stack of this at a time, as you'll need quite a bit to get to the end of this chapter. Cool. That's neat. All right. Okay. And an optional peat farmer will help you automate the placement and production of dry peat and water. Neat. And then solidification chamber uh, will take a liquid input and up to three items and produce a new item at the cost of FE. Uh, these can be a bit tricky to automate, so make sure to check your input and output filtering. We'll definitely want to look at that soon. But the reason I was doing all this, remember, um, and I'm not going to accept these rewards just yet because the conveyor belts sound promising and I want to look at them, but I want to focus more back on what I was doing uh, in the occultism stuff, which was making the soul pedestal, right? Wasn't there a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in 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 uh, getting started, we want to circle back to the blood sigil because we needed liquid biomass, right? And remember melting chamber? Now that requires RF to get going. So we're going to need this guy and our Pete at this point, right? Um, and I don't really have like a machines area just yet, short of like the create workshop area. So do I build a new island at this point? I'm going to hold off on the whole building a new island thing. Uh, what I'm going to do is just, for now, like, these islands will continue to just kind of be my miscellaneous workshoppy type functions, and that should be fine. So exporting power, always on. So I drop one of these in here. Look at you. So you're running, and I assume that you're getting your power. Cool. Um, and then in order to get a bucket of liquid biomass, we need, it doesn't say how much we get on the tooltip here, does it? 60 ticks, 40 RF a tick. I can, I guess, augment it. I'll get twice as much if I throw like some kind of seed in there. And I do have a really large number of seeds. So I'm cool, you know, just doing that, right? So we'll start with this and we'll see how much we get. Fair. And that'll get me what? 2,000 buckets of liquid biomass. Sweet. Now, can I get that out of here? Like, how do I get that? There we go. Wasn't that 2,000 buckets? Asking for a friend. Well, it is what it is. But then I should be able to throw this in here. And I believe that's working now. Yes? Hey, look, it is. It did the thing. It made the blood sigil. How cool is that? Quest complete. Booyah. Now might be a good time to get some plant action going because I do need more food. And of course, this is like, you know, super good use of uh, getting string and whatnot. Perfect. But mostly my goal here was getting more wheat that I'm going to go grind up. Hello, chicken. Perfect. Cool. Now, while you're cooking... Um, I don't think I need cooked rice just yet. Uh, we've got the blood sigil now, which is a potion of regeneration reward. So technically I can get a broom. Willow is slower and more precise and mahogany is faster. You can open it up by sneak right clicking, allowing you to apply upgrades. As you fly your broom, it's broom brush slowly breaks. You should keep an eye on its durability before uh, going on flights. So we can either get the willow broom or the mahogany broom. Uh, Willow is slower and more precise. Mahogany is faster. I mean, you know Dyer like speed, right? Um, so I'm going to like add these both to the to-do list and decide. So that needs gold. So clearly we're not getting there yet. And that needs netherite. So I don't foresee those being immediately in my future. But, you know, we're probably close to being able to do that, which is cool. Now, um, 
having having a bucket of fire or lava, as it were, uh, is definitely what I'm working towards. Now, remember, the whole point of what we're doing here in the occult chapter is to get the soul pedestal so that we can then uh, use that to summon, I suspect, a, uh, a blaze. And if we summon the blaze, then we can kill them uh, to get blaze powder, which we can use to get lava. And then we can get, yeah, right? So keep that in mind. That's our goal right now. It's always good to know what we're working towards. So you're almost there. Let me put you here while you finish that. So now we should be allowed to make our soul pedestal, which is gonna need some blood, uh, and regular pedestals, which are gonna need soul slates, which is more blackstone, which is more cobble, which is not a big deal. We can totally handle that. Okay, now you're getting washed wheat flour. And then when you're done, I'll wash uh, the other wheat flour stack that I have. There you go, dough. And then when you're done getting washed, I can turn off the water wheels for, uh, you know, stuff. Okay, and then you smelt up. We might need more... How am I for coal coal? Because I could also obviously just, uh, eh, we're not bad actually. We're pretty good on coal. I mean, obviously both are renewable, right? Like coal I get from gravel, charcoal I get from oak logs. So it really doesn't matter which one I use at this point, in my opinion. All right, so let's figure out, uh, and I'm gonna put you in here and we'll let that stack of wheat cook. Um, so soul pedestal, right? So we're definitely going to need more blackstone, and that's just going to be haunted. Let's math this out real quick, just so I know exactly what I need. I need eight of these, right, for the quest. Right, eight of these for the quest. Oh, and we get a soul shard contains chicken spirit thing as a reward for this. So eight pedestals need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven soul slates each, right? So 56. Yes? And we already have 20, uh, so 36. I'm cool with that. So you get haunted up. Yep, I hear you chickens. I am also excited. Hello. Good to see you. And remember, speeding up the fans really doesn't make them process this any faster, I don't think, unless that's changed recently. There we go. And then to get this is just dropping it on the blue flame, which is over here. Cool. So we'll let that sit for a little bit. I assume that you guys are going to be like super cool and not like burn up or nothing. Because even though you have little red flames on you, I'm assuming you're being good, right? And not actually burning up. Always makes me nervous seeing those little red flames. Like, are they going to get destroyed? I hope not. I gotta imagine they wouldn't. Okay. All right. So then you guys turn into this. And that's your eight pedestals. Okay. Boom. Task completed. Now the next one obviously is going to be this thing. So we're going to need a big soul crystal. We're also going to need soul catalysts. I don't think I've gotten those yet. And crystal pedestals. So crystal pedestals are this. So I'm going to need another set of slates. Like, you know, a bit. 11? Did I math 11 correctly? And then Soul Catalyst is just smelted soul powder, so that's not a big deal. I don't think I have any extra soul ingots laying around, and unfortunately soul ingots require iron, which we're low on, which means I'm definitely going to be uh, sieving a little bit of gravel in my immediate future. Uh, so I'm going to want to be ready for that. 
So let me get all this prepped, right? So real quick, what I'm going to be making is another pedestal. So uh, actually 10, right? 10 soul slates. I'm going to need some soul steel. Obviously, we know how to make those. Soul catalyst, not a problem. Um, and soul steel blocks. So we're going to need a lot of soul steel. Um, but we already have the soul crystal, right? We already have the big one. Did I use that for something? I may have used it for something. It's all right. I can make a new one. It's not a big deal. I remember them being easy to make. You just drop the thing in the fire and you're good. So let me go make that all off camera. If anything interesting happens, I'll uh, come back. But 10. Be right back. All right. So we've got uh, this thing almost done. There you go. I made about 30 of them because that's about how many I got from uh, the stuff that I made. So you immediately, let's mass out exactly what we need. Um, so I need three for this, none for that, four, five, and then 18, right? So 23, is my math correct? 23. Do the Thing. And I assume once I stop seeing ghostly particle effects, it means it's done crafting them all. It's so tricky to know, like, if it's done or not. I try to put them on the edge of the sand, but that doesn't always, like, because, you know, dropping is not an exact science in Minecraft. How do we do there? Actually very slow. Okay. Well, well, that was fun. Um... There we go. That's what I aim for. Something like that. So I can kind of still see. Oh, yeah, there's still a step. I'll come back in about 30 to 60 seconds. I don't want you guys to have to sit here and watch this for a full minute. That would be bad. All right. So uh, stuff good. Putting away other stuffs. So now we want two soul steel blocks plus the pedestal, which needs the soul steel plate, which is three of these haunted. All kinds of passive mobs are spawning because I'm using grass everywhere. It's kind of hilarious. So that haunts into that. I forgot to make these, sorry. Uh, but that should be the pedestal then, right? And then, uh, actually, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Yeah, easy peasy. And then you guys get cooked over here. Look at that sheep just chilling in soul fire. Sure, sheep. Whatever you want to do. Actually, is it just 10 that I need? Okay. Maybe I didn't need to do that, but all good. Cool. So one extra pedestal. Followed by one crystal pedestal. And then Soul Catalyst, I need two of. So that's going to be two smelted coal. So that's done. And then over here, we need to get blood in this thing, right? So let's recap exactly what we need. Two soul steel ingots, done. Um, two soul catalysts, good. One crystal pedestal, good. Two soul steel blocks, good. And then the soul crystal up here. I just need uh, that, is that, that, and an appetite, right? So one appetite fully upgraded all the way. So that's one tier. Make sure you're seeing the particles. See, it catches, it's like soul sand, so it like kind of catches. Looks like it's still upgrading, so I'm gonna let it sit until it pops and I don't see the particles anymore, like the little ghostly things. There we go, soul crystal. So soul crystal goes in the top. These two here, these two here, these two here, and this, right? Now, we also need a bucket of blood. 
which it says um, in the quests over here under getting started, uh, place the blood sigil inside the Hexary Cauldron. Once it's inside, you can jump up and down on it to cause the cauldron to begin to fill with blood. You'll then be able to use the blood for further crafting recipes. Make sure to remove the sigil when you're not using it anymore. So do I just click it in there or, oh yeah, I guess so. There we go. Of course it does. There we go. Sweet. Oh my, that actually hurts quite a bit. Oh, that's weird. It turned it into lava. How did it do that? I don't know. Is that a bug? I'm not sure. It's neat though. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention to my health at all. And I was like, oh, I'm very much not in health. Like, that's bad. Okay. But hey, we did the thing, right? So is that quest completed then? Yeah, it is. Cool. Crystal Soul Shard Chicken. Nice. All right. Uh, and that leads to the Chicken Palooza Pearl can summon a horde of chickens. This is useful for breeding, food, or capturing their souls with soul crystals in order to summon other mobs. Um, rewards Hay Nest from the Incubation Mod. Okay. So that just needs a chicken nest. Collects eggs laid by chickens. Well, that's going to be cool. Um, which is made with hay and wood. So really... And a bunch of hay equals a chicken palooza pearl. And that'll get us a bunch of chickens. And that's kind of cool. I don't know what a hay nest does, but that's neat. Should we try that real quick? I feel like we should. Though I did just recently turn all my hay into a stack of bread. So that's on me. That's my mistake. It's alright. I could just bone meal some. We have a healthy-ish amount of bone meal. We do need a lot of this, though, because we need two blocks of hay. Two hay bales. I'm using a lot of bone meal for this, but... Eh. It's all good. So that would be you two. Chicken Palooza Pearl is this thing. And then just a few more. That actually might be sufficient. And then you go away. We've got so much junk in our inventory. And then we're going to have to figure out, I'm assuming this is a multi-block structure here. But I just want to try out this Chicken Palooza Pearl because, like, it sounds hilarious. Oh, and you get two of Did I get two of these? Or did I quest? Oh, it's one hay bale per. Okay, good to know. And then we're going to do that over here. Hey, look, we got some Mars uh, Nouveau Star Bunkles. What's up, guys? How's it going? Yeah, you're going to have to get out of my way, sir. Excuse me. Come here. Move it. I wanted to chicken palooza in here. Where is the. How did you get up there? That's not where you belong, chicken palooza. Ah. What are you doing all the way up here? Are you too big? I think you are. This might have been a mistake. Enemy six? I'm not seeing them. It's saying that there's six chickens, but I don't know if I necessarily believe that. Though they may be around here somewhere. Okay. Ah, chickens. I was hoping they would be, like, inside the building, and that is not the case. So the witches thing was able to fit inside the building. The chicken one clearly does not. So we'll note that for our next uh, attempt at this. We'll maybe do it on like a different island.
I have a little bit of time left. My other chicken fall all the way yet? He's still falling. But once he dies in the void, it should progress to the next wave. Yeah, there's one enemy left. So once he finishes falling into the void, presumably that'll start the next wave. Yeah, definitely don't don't do this one again here. I love I love the particle like the 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 texture of this port. Like it's very cool looking, isn't it? It's super cool. But yeah, clearly clearly not the right path to a bacon for this. Chicken Palooza. <laughs> That's funny. He's still falling. Legend says he's still falling to this day. I have no idea. Because he can do the wing flappy thing. Uh, there we go. He just died. Wave four. Yeah. So our key is like try to kill them in such a way that they don't fall off. Where you at, other chickens? Oh, well, I think some of them fell actually into the void. Yeah. That's why it's saying there's six of them. They spawn in such a way that they fell into the void. Did it win? Did I win or lose? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Either way, we did things. Nice. All right, so presumably... Going forward, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that again because that I can do as much as I like. That's easy. I don't care about that. I was far more careful with my witch thing because that I don't know that I can create a new one of easily without another ender pearl. I mean, doable, yes, but not easy. Um, but yeah, let's wrap up the episode here. Inventory cleanup is obviously an immediate need, uh, which I'll start working on now. I'm gonna I'm gonna call biomass uh, a thing that goes in there. We got a ton of feathers which is kind of cool. Also a ton of chicken, which we can use as a food source in the immediate future. Um, I should really set up like a place for my passive mobs to spawn and sit. Um, you know, obviously they're going to kind of start spawning all over the place just because of, uh, you know, grass and whatnot. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, should I probably like claim... <laughs> of course it was creepers. Why did it have to be creepers? Gotcha. I was like, oh right, I accidentally made that a dark room. Better go open it up. And of course, it was creepers. Of course. All right, so wrapping up point for the episode. Dial 20 signed off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, let's come back next time. We'll obviously... Uh, get the soul pedestal working, which I'm assuming multi-block, put soul in middle, and it can transform into another soul. And what it said is most of this is reusable, so it should be easy to get lots of blazes. And then we can get blaze powder to make lava and blazes for create stuff, right? Cool. Wrap it up point, dial 20 sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. You know what to do. Take it easy.